It says evaluate the indefinite integral. Use C for the constant of integration. Okay, so we've got x to the 29th power sine of x to the 30th power dx. So suggestions for what u might be. Just sine x to the 30? So that would be a good choice for you. Listen to me here. If there was a cosine x to the 30th hanging around, because the derivative of sine is cosine, but there's no cosine to be found. So it's not a bad idea, but I'm going to say let's not go with that. Now have a here's an insight that's hopefully helpful. Do you see that x to the 30th is one power higher than x to the 29th? Mm -hmm. So it might be nice to use the what kind of calculus operation on x to the 30th. So we could do x 29 to the 9th, x to the 29th, x sine it's inside the sine. Okay, so that's the idea. x times x to the 29th is x to the 30th. What calculus step would take us from x to the 30th to 30 x to the 29th? Oh, we take the derivative. The derivative, right. So in other words, might not u be x to the 30th? Do you see that? Do you see how we do you see how we're, we're kind of walking ourselves through it? We have to be judicious about our choice. So u is x to the 30th. So let us write du. And then remember, we take the what of both sides? The differential. We take the differential of both sides, which is just like the derivative, but you write a dx, right? So it's 30 x to the 29th multiplied by dx. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. So let's have a look here. It looks like x to the 29th is here. It looks like dx is here. But then again, we have another stowaway, don't we? Mm -hmm. We have a 30 coefficient. Now, by the way, that stowaway, you know, think about somebody that's unwelcome on the Titanic or something. <laughs> that's that stowaway, like, that's a common thing. You have to sort of adjust for the constant. So we're going to divide by 30 here. Do you see that? Okay. So in other words, and by the way, a lot of people just like do it all in one step. I like to write the equation because that way it's clear. We can say 1 over 30 du is equal to x to the 29th uh, dx. So for this piece and this piece, which is the double underline and the squiggle underline, goes in 1 over 30 and du. And then lastly, we already said that x to the 30th is our u. And that's going to also be replaced. How does that sound? Good. Okay, good. So let's in fact do that. So remember, any constants can go out front, which I generally recommend because that way you don't get confused. So let's just go 1 over 30, integral, we need the du in there. By the way, du is usually at the back side. Just, that's just typical convention. And then we've got sine uh, u. Doesn't look so bad. I think that one comes right off an integration table. Or if I remember what thing's derivative gives me sine, then you know I just go backwards, right? <laughs> yeah. So can you tell me what is the antiderivative of sine u going to be? So I think it's going to be or negative negative cosine, cosine u. Yeah, because yeah, I think the derivative of sine is cosine. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. So if you go backwards from a, from a positive sign, you'd get a negative cosine. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. So we're going to get minus 1 over 30 cosine of u plus c. And then we've only got one more step. And what do we now do to finish out the problem? We do. Yeah. So we want... 30 cosine. Yeah. So we just want our native variables, so to say, right? So, uh, yeah, x to the 30th. How does that feel after we walk through? Good. I think I'm struggling with just picking you. Yeah, no, that's honestly the hardest part. And, yeah. and keep in mind, the more you do, the more practice, like, you'll understand. Like, the more it'll just come faster. Now, again, the key insight of you is try to find something that's already in the function that something else that's sort of hanging around is like one power lower. Okay. So let's even think about that on the last problem. Do you see down on the last problem, 
9ax plus bx to the ninth, one power lower is, sorry, 9bx to the eighth. But notice that that's the exact same thing as the numerator in terms of like one power lower, but it's different by a constant. And so whenever it comes to constants, we can always deal with that because we recall our algebra. But other than that, I mean, the choice of you has to be judicious. And by the way, like you may struggle on certain problems. Ah, oh, like I tried you, it was this, it didn't work out. Again, these are problems written by teachers for students. They should work out. Okay. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't yeah. be like absurdly like difficult. So yeah. if something gets really difficult, you're like overthinking it.